Hello, this is Dr. Bartosh of Proactive Wellness and Injury Center, and today I'd like to focus on a subject that I'm often asked about, probably more than any other single topic, and that is buying a mattress or what type of bedding that, that I would recommend. Well, frankly, I never recommend anything, and what I attempt to do is to educate, regardless of what the topic might be, the individual that's asking the question so that he or she can make an informed decision. However, when we talk about mattresses or bedding, I feel safe in saying that probably the most popular one out there that's purchased by more people than any is the memory foam type of uh, bedding. And I think largely it's due to the massive effort they put in marketing. But what we want to do then is focus on this type of bedding and see what it is that you are getting. Now when you're looking at the mattresses or the memory foam, what you may not realize is that many of these different types of memory foam are basically made out of a latex or even a soy product, believe it or not, but most often they're made out of polyurethane, which is a petroleum-based or oil-based uh, type of substance. And also with the polyurethane, there are many additives that are added to the mattress because a law was passed by the federal government that states that these, that these mattresses have to have fire retardants or fire blockers. But we'll get to that in a moment. But before we do, getting back to the polyurethane and these other additives, this is what gives it its memory, if you will, or its ability to rebound. As you impress it, you stand there, and in, in your amazement, you see this, this mattress now return to its original form. These, uh, these chemicals, however, break down in about a three to eight year period. And I know that some of you may have purchased these things and you're told that you know there's a 20 year warranty on that. It would behoove you to, in this instant, before you purchase one of these, to really read the really, really fine print because you're going to see that that's not the case. And as they break down, what happens is they develop a body cavitation or what's known as a body imaging, where they no longer return to their form and now you see the uh, impression of the individual that sleeps on that side. And we know that one of the purposes of bedding is of course for support while we sleep. Because you have to remember that this environment that you put yourself in this bedding is about a six or eight hour period and it's second only to putting yourself in a pair of shoes. And you can see that after six or eight hours this environment will have a tremendous effect upon you. Now getting back to this these memory foams, these polyurethane substances, research is now showing that polyurethane is a type of PCB. It's contributing now to childhood cancers that we're seeing now being developed, uh, brain disorders such as ADD, respiratory disorders such as various types of asthmas and autisms as well. For every action, folk, there's always an equal and opposite reaction. And my contention is that the human body has never changed, but the environment in which we are putting it or subject to is constantly changing, and the change that we're experiencing mostly are chemical additives throughout our, our lives. Now, getting back to the fire blockers, what the federal government mandates, and don't hold me to this, but I believe it's a... It's a, a torch, a two-foot torch, a blowtorch, if you will, that um, the mattress has to be subjected to for over a 70-second period and not catch on fire. As long as the mattress does that, then they can market it. But in order for the mattress material to do that, again, it is inundated with PCBs, boric acid, and even asbestos. And this is something that doesn't have to be put on the label that they can market to the, the consumer without making this information known. But that's how it's accomplished. Now also, as I alluded to earlier, you're in this environment for six to eight hours. And what's going on is these chemicals are going through a process that's known as off-gassing. That literally means that as you sleep, these chemicals are vaporizing and they're becoming part of the atmosphere, the air that you're breathing, and also they're permeating your tissue, your skin. And this is causing a toxic effect in your body 
over time. It's very insidious. It's very gradual. But you can imagine sleeping in this for six or eight hours a day for a two or three or four or however many years. It's creating uh, chemical uh, changes in your body that are creating these, chem these conditions or these diseases that we've never seen before and that we're scratching our head trying to figure out from, from whence they've come or how it happened. So I guess the bottom line is, or the question that we get to, is that, well, Doc, what do I do? Well, one of the things that you can do is to become an informed consumer, and that's my objective here in this video, is to let you know about these types of things that are going on and how they are affecting you.